Mr. Chairman, Ranking Member Rouser, members of the subcommittee. Uh, my name is Rob Ewald. I farm near Davenport, Iowa. Uh, I represent uh, the soybean farmers of Iowa as a district director in my state. Thank you for inviting me to share my thoughts on agriculture today. I'll, uh, I know I'm limited time, so I will, I will do this like a fat man through a barbed wire fence. I will go as fast as I can and hit every point along the way. That sounds good. <laughs> So uh, I, I uh, grew up on, on a family farm. My wife, I have two children, uh, two boys that are 11, 13, both just live and die agriculture at this time, like every early teenage boy does on the farm. Um, we raise uh, corn, soybeans, some alfalfa hay. We have cattle and hog operation. Um, and, uh, you know, tough times right now. As, uh, as a farmer, you accept some unknowns, and, uh, and it's just a way of life. But uh, weather, cost of inputs, um, the Mississippi River levels, which affected us greatly last year, um, and volatile market prices are just a few of the variables that we deal with. Um, and trade is the most important. Uh, traditionally, our soybeans uh, are a $25 billion export. For, for the, the country. More than 60% of the soybeans are, are exported. However, currently, that's not the case. Uh, 2018, and I can still remember when, when the tariffs were put in place, I woke up at about 3 in the morning for some reason. I grabbed the phone like a lot of us do anymore and looked to see what's happened in the news, and sure enough, tariffs have been put on soybeans and pork, and, and uh, so I quick flipped over to the overnight trade and watched the, the soybean price drop. You know, we saw it drop to $2 below world prices. Um, I already had the crop planted. And like most of the farmers, we thought it was going to be short-lived. Uh, we, we thought that they really needed our soybeans, and we were going to come out of this pretty quick. <clears throat> that did not happen. Fast forward to today, we have uh, restructured. I, I rent all of our ground. Uh, I do not own any land. So what equity I have is just in equipment, which depreciates fast. Um, when you don't make money and you have to pay back an operating note, it's very difficult. Um, we, uh, we went backwards about $100,000 in 18, 19. Due to the trade and due to some weather issues, we went backwards again. I sit before you still waiting to see if I'm going to get operating money for 2020. Uh, so to say that... Uh, Stress is very high in my house, between my wife, myself. It is. You know, uh, I'm not going to give up. We're going to do what we can. I've taken up a job using some of our equipment, so I drive truck at night now. Um, if I'm going to be awake worrying about how I pay for my bills, I might as well be awake doing something to pay my bills. So I've taken a truck, uh, one of our trucks, and, and drive at night to whether it be St. Louis or or St. Paul, or just regionally, and, and it is offsetting and it's keeping my lender happy. Uh, my lender's been great to work with. He's doing everything he can possibly do. Um, like I said, we're, we're trying to figure out how to make this work, but it's, it's one thing for sure that, that I can say that if we did not have the MFP payments in 18 and in 19, that I would not be sitting before you calling myself a farmer. Uh, it's just... It's just the way it goes. Um, my wife and I have strong faith. We'll get through it. Um, I think my parents are proud of us for trying to chug through this. You know. Um, so that being said, uh, the yellow light's on. I think there's some great opportunities out there. That we, we, you all need to be champions for us to go out. We need to. Uh, as a soybean association, we've been doing our own trade mission trips. We're, we're trying to look at do new markets, whether they be in, in uh, Pakistan, Bangladesh. Uh, we're trying to develop things in northern Africa. And, and, but we need support. We, we need to move this crop. We're great at what we do. We've all talked about that today already, that we are the best in our field. Sorry for the bad pun, but we are. The American farmer and rancher is incredible what they can do. And, and we just need to move this product out. And with that, I uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to tell my story. <laughs>